Royal and humble greetings to each and every one. On this video, we're going to be looking at Eswatini Kingdom family tree. The Bantu Swazi people traveled from Eastern Africa, from Cameroon, through Kenya, through Tanzania, into present day Mozambique, under the leadership of King Lamini, also known as Matalatala. That's why Eswatini is known as the House of Lamini or the Lamini Dynasty. The king in Eswatini rules together with the queen mother, who is supposed to be the biological mother to the king. The king is referred to as Ingwenyam, the head of the nation and the Queen Mother in Lovukati, the spiritual leader of the nation. Even though this house was named after Lamini or Matalatal, their great ancestor was Mkulungosi. After Mkulungosi, it was Komizita, Sukuta, Malasomo, Glovo, Ngwekati, Mawawa, Situa Besili Tuli, Sukumbili, Mbokane, Kebase, Kunene, Nkabingwe, Majambane, Hili, Tulunga, Tondobola, Sihuba, Langini, Simutse, Mbojo, Tembe, Sikulumaloyo, Langa, Ngomo, Kabako, Ngusi, Ngwane. Ngwane, who is the father of Lamini Matalatala. After Lamini, it was Mswati, the first, then Ngwane, the second, then Lamini, the second, Ngosi, the second, Mavuso, Makundulela, Lutvonga, Lamini, the third, then Ngwane, the third. Ngwane moved his people north of Pangola River into what is now known as Shiselweni district in the northeast of Swaziland and established his capital at Zombodze. And his people were then called Bakangwane. After Ngwane III, it was Nvungunye, then Sobuzo I, also known as Ngwane IV, then Swati II. Swati is considered to be one of the greatest fighting kings of Eswatini. It's who Eswatini is named after. And under his kingship, the territorial boundaries of Eswatini were greatly increased. Mswati II was king when the first contact was made with Europeans or the Drekbura. After Mswati II, it was Mbanzini, also known as Lamini IV. And then it was Mashokosha, also known as Ngwane V. During this time, the kingdom didn't have much power because of the Boers or the Bure government. After Ngwane, it was King Sobuzo II. And King Sobuzo II guided his country through one of history's most bewildering centuries, from colonial subservience to independence and onto the global stage. He also made an exceptional contribution to the struggle against apartheid through supporting the liberation movement in times of need. King Sobuzo II is also recorded as the longest reigning monarch. His reign as Ingwenyam was more than 82 years, 
and was recognized by Britain as the first ruler of independent Eswatini. After King Sobuso II, it was King Mswati III, who is the current king of Eswatini. Now King Mswati III was introduced as a crown prince in 1983 and was crowned king in 1986 at the age of 18 years old, making him one of the youngest reigning monarchs of the late 20th century. Today, King Mswati III is Africa's last absolute monarch in the sense that he has the power to choose the prime minister, other top government posts, and top traditional posts. Now that was the Eswatini Kingdom family tree. From their great ancestor Nkulungosi to Matalatala or Jamini the first who founded the dynasty to King Mswati the second who Eswatini is named after and King Sobuzo the second who is the longest reigning monarchy in the world all the way to King Mswati the third who is the current king of Eswatini if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Until the next one, thank you for watching.